is this is getting really good right here. Yeah. On the way back from leading my annual paleontological dig in western Kansas, I had the opportunity to visit with Warren and Susie Harshman of Clovercliff Ranch along with their family. After being invited to share a brief presentation regarding the wonders of creation, I was in for an unexpected treat. A herd of American bison. That's right, Clovercliff Ranch is the home to not only award-winning disc golf, a charming bed and breakfast, but hundreds of bison. And Mr. Harshman offered me a personal tour. As we traveled by ATV to the pastures, I could see what looked like only tiny specks on the horizon. Those tiny specks would turn out to be huge bison grazing in the fields. Mr. Harshman explained how they were making the transition there from cattle to bison and the challenges that presented. Oh yeah. I'm here literally feet away from all of these bison. This is an amazing experience right here. Look at how majestic they are. Bison do not like pressure, uh, especially when you get them into a confined area. They look they look real gentle and real tame here, yeah. but they're used to us coming out here in a four wheeler. Okay. Um, so if they felt uncomfortable, what would they do? They would be moving away. Okay. When we first got them, before they were familiar with uh, with the ATVs, they would see us coming over the hill. They would immediately start moving. Really? But we've been out here enough that they're getting used to us. It just seems like everywhere we look, God's creation has such diversity. And I mean, you might look out here and you may say, well, this is kind of the same as a, as a herd of cattle. But what have you noticed? You've worked with both cattle and bison. What have you noticed sort of transitioning to bison that is unique? We've had cattle for a long time. And we thought, well, bison are gonna be similar to cattle. Yeah. But we're on, we're on a big learning curve finding out that's not the case. Okay. One thing, bison are herd animals. If we had beef out here, they would be scattered all over this 4,000 acres. But bison, you can see, they're more social. They want to stay in a group. Uh, bison are spot grazers. They, uh, they come in and they'll, they'll eat this grass, and then this will be their favorite place. They'll stay and they'll just keep eating in the same place, almost grubbing the grass, while 200 yards away, you'll have grass that looks like it's hardly touched. It wow. seems that within the bovine family, our creator provided information in the genetic code that would allow those creatures to not only survive, but to thrive in a variety of environments and situations. Cattle, bison, the African buffalo, the water buffalo, and antelopes to name a few. Animals with cloven hoofs with at least one of the sexes having horns. Another way that bison are different than beef when it gets 10 degrees or zero out here and the wind is blowing, beef would take refuge in the bottom of a valley yeah. and the trees. These bison will be laying up here on the top of the hills, just relaxed. Really? Yes. Temperatures well below zero, along with chilling winds, are no challenge. In the wild, it seems that bison did not attempt to migrate to the far south in winter. These huge animals, weighing up to 2,000 pounds, grow a woolly winter coat consisting of hollow fibers that insulate and shed water. They then lose those coats in the summer months. They have a muscular hump on their backs and long and strong vertebrae in their spines. They simply sweep their heads from side to side, push the heavy snow away, and feed on the vegetation below. Not random chance. Not evolution from amoeba to bison. Amazing design that only a creator could have imagined and engineered. Yeah, uh, bison is a very healthy meat. It has less fat and less cholesterol than chicken without the skin. Mm -hmm. Very high protein. Uh, a lot of diets will say no red meat, but bison is totally allowable. Really? Yes. As we worked our way across drainage areas, 
we spotted three large bulls at a distance. Soon, I found myself up close to those magnificent creatures. Wow, oh, I caught that, that was good. Listen to the sound. Look at these majestic bison in the background. I mean, I've literally been a few feet away from big bulls just a few minutes ago. It's golden hour. The sunset is coming in and uh, it's just it's just remarkable. God's creation is is truly spectacular. You couldn't ask for a, a better cap on a day. If you enjoyed this, please like and share the video and be sure you're following us on all of our social media. You can also subscribe for our free magazine on our website. And remember, we are a nonprofit organization, so we need your help to continue. Consider a tax-deductible donation today as we discover God's fingerprints and share the gospel around the world.